Ready to go? Think so, sir. Okay. Whoever it is that this you have. This conference will now be recorded. Ah. Everything's ready for you. Okay. Well, I'd like to open up the Lovemore Boarding Zone of the Board of Zoning Appeals, Monday, August 17, 2020. Call to order. All commissioners are present with the exception of one, so we do have a quorum. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from the July 20, 2020 meeting. Any uh, comments, questions, addendums, or changes to the minutes? If not, do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Do second. I have a second? A second. All in favor say aye. 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 No old business and new business, only one item. 2020-27 BZA, 4820 South 4th Street. Staff report, please. Yes, thank you. Uh, the applicant is appealing for more than one sign on a, on a wall of the property zone, general business district. U-Haul is located at 4820 South 4th Street. The development regulations limit the number of wall signs allowed on each side of the structure or part of a structure clearly identified as a storefront to one sign. U-Haul has one existing wall sign. It's 305 square feet. The box hitch, hitches and moving supplies, as you see up here, right here has been approved as their one sign. So all the other three. Okay. <laughs> so that one's been approved. The variance request is for for three additional signs on the east side of the building. One of the proposed signs is on the southeast portion of the building reading, ooh, where'd my mouse go? Your storage, and it's gonna go right here. And then the second sign is the customer entrance at 52 square foot. And then the third is drive-in storage and unload at this location here at 23 square foot. The request variance is to allow installation of your storage place, cu customer entrance and drive-in storage, load and unload signs on each side of the building. All proposed signs meet the si size requirements of the general business district zoning district. Do you know if there's gonna be any more changes or any proposed things that are hanging out there? Because I, I, I would, if, if there is, we'd like to kind of handle all the signs at once. Not that we're aware of. Yeah. Yes. None okay. Of them. <laughs> okay. Just thought I'd ask. Okay. Any questions of the staff? And the applicant is online as well. Just curious, and I, I maybe this may be something that I have to put a, put to the sign company. But the middle sign, the customer entrance, mm -hmm. where is that going to be again? May I ask? Because I see two sets of doors. Oh, you, you can't really see my mouse, but it's right below the boxes, hitches. It's this little blue square. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And so. Um, Usually those types of signs that say like customer entrance um, and drive in, load and unload would be uh, directional signs, but our, regu our regulations limit directional signs to uh, it's either three or four square feet. And so on a building as large as this, um, to be visible when people are driving up, um, a lot of times they need those directional type signs to be a little bit bigger so they're showing up mm -hmm. on the storefront. The exterior signs, the north, northernmost and the southernmost, are just signs, and there's no entrance into the building or out of the building? This one is just a sign. This one, I believe there is going to be a loading and unloading. Door. Yeah, that northern one, there's some um, roll-up doors for folks to pull in there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What about the uh, southernmost? Is that no, I believe that's, that's just, just a, a sign. billboard on the on the building. Yeah, just a sign. Yeah. Yes. 
And I assume the colors represented are, are the actual colors that the, they propose to install. That's our understanding. Mm -hmm. So the doors that are just to the left of the drive-in load and unload, what are those for? These? Um, I'm not sure if those are... Are they doors? I don't even like know if that's proposed. Em employee doors? No, I'm no to the these? left. Yeah. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm I'm not sure, but they're not. They've not proposed any signage for those doors. Okay. Are are, are they real doors? I mean, the reason I ask you that is because we've got a painting on the right that yeah. covers the wall, and I just if we've got the customer entrance there to the left, left front, and then it's almost dead center is the just two doors, and you wonder. You know, I'm not sure to be okay. honest. I can't think of how it's looked when I've driven out past that. I, I'm not sure. I, I apologize if it, it was an odd no, you're question. Fine. It's a valid question. Yeah. Okay. Any questions to the uh, applicant or the applicant's representative? We can ask them about those doors. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So Ashley or Tony. Um, did you hear that? Do you know if those doors that are shown on the elevation just to the left of the black roll-up doors, are those actual doors or an entrance to the building? They're muted. Well, I should be able to unmute. Can you unmute them? Not sure either, Tony said. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so they're not sure. Okay. Yeah, it looks right. like um, there are there are some actual doors there. Okay. So yeah. Based on the, this top one. Excuse me. Yeah, based on that top one. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. therefore, the need or the desire to identify where the customers where they wish the customers to go in or enter from or into versus the other yeah. set of doors. My guess would be uh, the, the, the main doors where they're proposing the signage are their actual customer entrance. And so since there are multiple existing doors on that facade, that they are probably needing that signage to direct people mm -hmm. to the appropriate entrance okay. so there's no confusion. Thank you. <laughs> That's kind of why I asked, is this the end of the signs or are there more coming? Yeah, it, as far as we know, this like is... all of the entrances yeah. were covered. Yeah, we can't, we can't speak for something they may be thinking of, but this is all that they've told us about. Okay. All right. Well, at this point, I will open the public hearing, but since I don't see anyone in the audience at all, so I will close the public hearing and then open it up for discussions amongst the, the board. Any other questions or concerns? I remember when Walmart came in, something similar was done mm -hmm. with their wall signage. They needed additional signage. I think I probably did that. Yeah, on, those, on the big box stores, they don't quite fit what regulations are intended for, and we have you know so few of them in town mm -hmm. um, that they're a little bit outside of the norm of what we would typically be dealing with. And they would have been okay under the old zoning ordinances but the change the new ones would require just like the Ford dealer across the way we anytime they wanted to add additional signs yeah it, it's been a while since the signs have been restricted but yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay well go ahead. so I have a question for you sir yes. and or really I suppose for the staff and so this is this one variance or three variances so I look, this would be one variance request. I looked back at what we did with Walmart. I'm not sure if you're on the board when we did the Walmart request a couple of years ago. I presented ago. the case for Walmart. What's that? I presented the case for Walmart. Yeah. At the time. Yeah, it's, it's been a couple of years. And that was just, it was one variance request. And so you can, um, in, in that number three of, uh, you know, under your authority and granting a variance, the board may impose such conditions, safeguards, um, et cetera. That's where you would specify. So since there's three signs being requested here, it's one request. But 
in those conditions you imp you impose, you could say that the um, approval is just for um, one certain sign or two certain signs or all three of those signs. Okay, thank you. It doesn't look like any of them are illuminated. Is that correct? I don't believe so. Ashley or Tony, are any of these proposed signs illuminated? No. Okay, no. No. Oh, okay. Any other questions or comments before we go through the, uh, yes. the variance criteria? Yes, sir. I, I, actually, I was curious if uh, what if any of the neighbors or adjoining businesses or establishments across the street uh, on Highway Seven, uh, if any of them objected at all or had any negative, positive, or neutral feedback for us? We didn't have any our, feedback. Whatsoever. Okay, with the regard to objections or support. Correct. Not, neither way. Okay. Thank you. That, that was my only question, sir. Okay. That was a Thank good you. one. That was good. Okay. Now, a request for a variance may be granted upon the finding of the board that all of the following conditions have been met. The board shall make a determination on each condition, and the findings shall be entered into the record. The first item, that the variance requested arises from such condition which is unique to the property in question and is not ordinarily found in the same zone or district and is not created by the action or actions of the property owner or the applicant. Uh, Commissioner Gervasini, we'll start on your side. Approved. 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 Number two that the granting of the permit for the variance will not adversely affect the rights of adjacent property owners or residences. Commissioner Kim? Agree. 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 Number three, that the strict application of the provisions of the development regulations from which the variance is requested will constitute unnecessary hardship upon the property owner represented in the application. Agree. 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 Number four, that the variance desired will not adversely affect the public health, safety, morals, order, convenience, prosperity, or general welfare. Agree. 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 And lastly, that granting of the variance <coughs> desired will not be opposed to the general spirit and intent of the development regulations. Agree. 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 Based on the consensus of the votes, it appears all of them have passed. In granting a variance, the board may impose such conditions, the safeguards and restrictions upon the premises benefited by the variance as may be necessary to reduce or minimize any potentially injurious effects of such variance upon other property in the neighborhood and to carry out the general purpose and intent of these development regulations. Does the board desire any conditions or or comments added to the approval for the variance? No, sir. Okay, seeing none, the board is recommending that the variance be for the three signs be granted. Do you okay. wish that I make a motion and we vote? Sometimes we do, sometimes. No, we you don't need to since it's gone through all. Five, all five of those criteria have passed. Okay. So Ashley and Tony, um, that passes, and so we'll get um, the permits for those signs. I think those are already in, right, mm -hmm. Jackie? Yeah, so we'll get those permits issued um, for you guys here in the next day or two, and you'll be good to go. Okay. Any other items? No other items, and we do not have anything for next month, so you'll have at least a month off. I think we are expecting at least one item for October, um, but we, we're not totally sure yet, so okay. get at least a little break. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
In that case, do I have a motion to adjourn? Sure, I make so. So, uh, a motion. Do I have a second? Such a motion. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned. All right. Thanks. This conference is no longer being.